Hello, this is my first flow tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about the starting approval action in flow. So the starting approval action comes from the approvals connector. So this is going to be very basic. Uh, it's uh, I'm just scratching the surface, uh, but I do have at least three takeaways for you uh, from this tutorial. So you'll have a few important uh, things to learn from this tutorial, I think, uh, especially if you're new to approvals. Okay, so uh, for this uh, presentation, I prepared a few things. I have my Gmail mailbox, I have my Outlook mailbox, I have my uh, SharePoint site uh, with the SharePoint list, and here I will add a products uh, to be approved. So when I add a new item in this list, um, a new approval process will start uh, in flow. So for this to run, I have to create a new flow. I will create a new one from blank and I can start with one of these popular triggers, which is when an item is created. Okay, so this is coming from the SharePoint connector and when an item is created here, it will start an approval process. So let's select this. This will take me to the new flow interface here. I can start with a uh, name, start an approval, and the when a new uh, when an item is created, trigger prompts me to enter uh, the site address. So the site address is here. Uh, right click copy, right click paste, and this will automatically filter the list name combo box. And I should have my list here. So there you go. And I configured my trigger. So I'm going to continue with a new step with an action, and the action will be start an approval. So as I said, the start and approval action comes from the approvals connector. The approval type is anyone from the assigned list or everyone. Of course, in my case, I'm going to send the approval to only one email address, so I'm going to select anyone. Title is going to be, please approve this item, colon, and I'm going to select some dynamic content from the dynamic content list. Now, if you're new to Flow, you should know that um, this list is populated with the output from you know from the previous from the previous uh, steps. So in my case here, I have my trigger when an item is created and you can see I have my trigger name here. So whatever falls under this gray um, category here is basically the output uh, from my trigger. So one item that's coming from the trigger is the product. So the product is actually the column you see here in my list. So if I create a new item. Let's say I'm requesting a laptop. Uh, and the status will be entered by um, automatically by the person who will approve. So I'm going to leave this uh, empty. Save. So when this happens, my approval will start and uh, the person uh, um, the person I assigned to this approval uh, will, to this approval process, will receive a request to approve a laptop. Okay, so of course uh, this item is already added, and the flow is not yet created. So we're going to add a new item there. Start approval. Okay, all right. So I'm going to select my uh, dynamic content, which is coming from the trigger. So please approve this item. This text here will be concatenated to 
whatever we're requ requesting. In that case, it would have been the laptop. Okay, so assign to, I'm going to enter my Gmail address. Let's see. gmail.com. Okay, all right. So assign to this Gmail address and uh, details. I can enter some dynamic content here as well. Um, so I'm going to say uh, um, product to be approved. And again, I'm going to concatenate my dynamic content to this uh, string of text product item link. I can enter the link to the item. You can search. Again, dynamic content here, and that's it. Create flow. All right. And I'm going to open my um, flows in a separate tab. Let's take a look. Starting approval is on, so it's ready to run. So let's add a new item. New product is PC save boom and now my flow should run right okay and it failed now why is that well we can expand and take a look found no matching users for this email address okay so for my Gmail address there are no matching users which means that this email address is not recognized. Hmm. So I can click on edit flow and I can use my Outlook email address. Let's do that. So again, my Outlook email address is recognized uh, because this is my organization email address. That, was, that one was external, so the Gmail address was external. That's why it failed. Okay, so let's go back here and I'm going to assign this to uh, this guy, which is me. Okay, and I'm going to update. Go back and request something else. Mouse. Save. Boom. Now, let's see what happens. Well, the trigger runs successfully. Now I should, uh, my, okay, so now my approval started. Let's see. This is waiting for something. So it means that the approval is waiting for some input from the email address. Okay, so let's go to my Outlook. Oh, there you go. Please approve this item, mouse. Okay, let's see. So we can see that there is a pending approval requested by this guy. Details, the link, and I have two buttons. Now, you cannot change the captions on these buttons and you cannot change the number of options so you cannot have more than two options and these options are hard coded it's either approve or reject that's it so remember approvals connector the start and approval action won't give you more than two options and you don't have the possibility to change the button captions okay so let me approve great you can have the mouse sir submit all right let's go back okay and we're done so the approval action got the response back from the from the person who received the approval 
uh, the, the pending approval uh, card here and the approval email and uh, it it finished right in as you can, as we can see here the flow ran successfully so now we're done and we can see that in the flow history so if we click here you can see that it succeeded so it doesn't matter if you're approving or rejecting if we're getting a response and everything run runs smoothly then the flow will succeed well this one failed because remember that email address uh, was not recognized no user was mapped uh, to that email address okay so <clears throat> um, we can do something else here I also have status and I want to fill my status here so how do I do that if we go back and edit the flow I can add a new step add an action and update I want to update my item again I'm using the SharePoint connector and the update item action Again, this is asking me to enter the site address I'm going to enter a custom value my list and I'm going to take the ID from uh, from when an item is created right so I'm taking the ID generated by the trigger and the status will be the comments added by the approver update or I can do status I can do something else I can edit and I can add more stuff let's remove so let's um, let's enter the response dash blank space comments okay update okay so let's do this again so remember the comments are now coming from okay let me edit again the comments and the response are coming from the start and approval action not from my trigger okay so here I have my dynamic content coming from the trigger you see the name my trigger right now I'm taking output from my action which is start and approval so it's different stuff right I have more dynamic content now available for this uh, particular action okay update flow go back new and my product will be let's ask for a pen save let's see what happens it's running uh, it's waiting for output from the approval process pen okay reject no pen for you submit okay so this succeeded and this also succeeded okay let's see what happened here okay reject no pen for you you can see the status now oh, that my pen has a status so let's recap edit so my approval is sending a process well sending a this action is sending a approval to whoever I assign here but remember this email address has to be recognized and uh, 
I do not have more than two options. I only have reject and approve. I cannot change the caption. And uh, once uh, I, I'm once I'm done configuring my approval action, I can use that output from my approval action uh, to continue um, doing more stuff. Right? I can update the item with the actual response that's that's coming from the approval, and I can also add even more. Uh, uh, you know, uh, actions here where I can add a condition, if it's rejected, do this, if it's approved, do that, and so forth. Um, I will do more, I'll try to do more tutorials um, regarding the um, available actions and uh, conditions and triggers in, uh, in Flow. Uh, so, as I said, this is my first Flow tutorial. Let me know if you want to learn about a specific topic in Flow, and I'll see if I can uh, do a tutorial. Thank you.